now then guys welcome back to another video hope we're all good um, today's video is going to follow a bit of back training and main thing I want to be reviewing is ABE all black everything by applied nutrition this is possibly one of my favourite pre-workouts it's sort of in terms of the ingredient panel it has had a bad rap in terms of sort of like sort of like the side effects so to say um, but yeah, applied nutrition, I've tried a lot of pre-workouts ranging from, you know, the ingredients, your band ones, your non-band ones, high stim, low stim, non-stim. I've tried a lot of pre-workouts and this for me, I mean, there's a lot I haven't tried, so this is from my experience. So, ABE is possibly one of my favourite pre-workouts and this particular flavour, the Candy Ice Blast, it has some sort of like, if you've ever tried a uh, Wrigley's Airwaves, imagine that, that sort of eucalyptus flavour. Um, it's got some sort of like menthol in it and when you sort of take it, it literally blows you away. Um, but yeah, ingredient panel, it's it's got some good ingredients. So caffeine, we have per serving, is 200 milligram. Now clinical dosage is believe 250 milligrams. I'll have to research that one up. But this usually on a double scoop will do me just fine. Now obviously, depending on caffeine tolerance, whether you do one scoop, two scoop, or even just a half scoop to sort of break yourself into it, that'll vary. But I'm going to sort of trial this today. I'm going to go hit a back session because that's what's on the menu for today's training wise. Sorry about that. So, take you through some of the exercises that I do, show you a couple sets, go through the main movements. Um, now, obviously, I trained legs on the Monday, so I'm still not feeling too well. Um, sort of like lower back wise and my inductors as well are absolutely battered in so deficits wise and as for pulling i'm not too sure how we're going to incorporate that in today whether i sort of just take a day off from that we'll see um but yeah i'm going to take through a back workout and it will catch up right here afterwards and i'll tell you how the session went whilst the ABE. so i'll see you in a bit
Now, we're back. Uh, just wrapped up that back session. Now, again, went very well. I, as you can tell, I didn't go into the pulling sort of like what was scheduled was deficit pulls. Now, just a bit of an insight into my program. I have, so obviously I've recently just started a prep, but more so I started cycling my sort of pulling. So we have deficits, rack pulls, and conventional deads. I cycle those on a three week basis. So week one will be deficits, week two rack pulls, week three conventionals. Mainly from a recovery standpoint is that. So today was deficits, but like I say beforehand, my adductors and abductors are absolutely bashed in from the first time I've sort of closely paying attention to them in terms of intensity and volume. So just a week off, we'll be back to normal doing it next week. Um, mainly because we'll sort of be a bit more broken into a program. This is my first week training on this new block. So getting used to sort of like the DOMS, just the general split because I've transitioned from a push pull legs to now this more like a bro split workout. But overall back to the pre-workout, focus was very good. Um, flavour was very nice. Again it's got that sort of breathe easy, open your airways, that's what it seems to say on the tub. And again that sort of did me very well, tasted very good. For me it, when it comes to pre-workouts and supplements as well, I have to enjoy it. I mean, I this is coming from someone that I eat, I eat the same foods five, six times a day. So this supplement is sort of like my little break to, you know, just enjoy something. Um, but yeah, very good taste. Focus was very good. Now, a lot of people, what they tend to find is um, they sort of like the face swell, not swells up, but sort of like goes red or in some cases turns into a rash. Now when I've looked into it, the ingredient for that is the niacin, I believe niacin, and that sort of like causes the redness. Mistakenly, a lot of people think that's the beta alanine when in fact it is the niacin. So beta alanine within pre-workouts usually causes that tingliness, um, to which it makes it like feel when you take pre-workout. Some people like it, I personally cannot stand it. So when it comes to choosing a pre-workout, I really do not like to feel the beta alanine. And luckily with this pre-workout, it wasn't that bad. So overall, very good pre-workout, very productive back session. Um, definitely room for improvement. Um, there's always room for improvement. So next week, we sort of set the baseline of week one, where we could go, where the car go. So from here, it's just upwards, really. Uh, looking forward to how the prep goes. More than likely, keep it updated. Although we're sort of keeping the physique shots to a standstill, um, training updates and general sort of like how my eating's going stuff like that I'll keep you very much updated and see how we go um, got a couple more videos lined up really loving the filming at the moment getting very productive and very sort of um, consistent with it which I'm enjoying views are going up everybody's subscribing everybody's loving the content so yeah any video ideas any opinions on the video drop a like drop a comment and see how it goes yeah um, but yeah thank you see you soon